let me say it, without, you know, even if you don't know, somebody's going to make this book into either a film or a collection of an anthology or wow, something. they should do. They have to, <laughs> because I cannot see how anybody reads this book, any yeah. real filmmaker, any global filmmaker, even even Nigerian filmmaker, because now we're playing in the big leagues, yeah. and not think to themselves, you know, these stories need to come alive. These are just, these stories are so special, you know. I want to read from where the heart sleeps, you know, and I, you yeah. know, all those old gay men that are closeted, <laughs> you know, they can read and find themselves, you know. I know still not the also. But you can go and read and find yourselves in where the heart sleeps. Yeah. You know, it's a beautiful story. You know, this yeah. reminded me of the movie Walking with Shadows and just the way that they were. I don't think you've seen it, but no, it was a, for me the movie that Fumi Yonda and then Ulumi Demakonjola did of Jude Dibia's Walking mm. with Shadows. Oh, I've not seen the movie. Yes, and that's the, uh, how a queer couple, an uh, upper middle class queer couple, was living their lives in, yeah. in Nigeria. So unfortunately, I can't talk about that, you know, because we don't have time. Good intentions, you know, beautiful, beautiful story. Again, I can't. What is it? You've already read from what the same guy said about yeah. love, but you know, this is the industry that I work in. You know, music, yeah. media, etc., etc. It was just so true to life. I want to end by talking about the last story. Yeah, I know that um, you had an interview with Emil Nelson, CJ. You know, and I think he asked you the question about the arrangement of the stories. Did that yeah. come from you? I've forgotten what your answer was. Did that come from you or from the publisher? No, that came from my agent. From your agent. Yes. Ah, please hold on to that agent. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> she's because the best. She's the best. It started yeah. from this note of, it left the first story, I told it hits me. Yeah. And I was, I was, this, this, I was in London at the time. I was just, I just, I came out of the bathroom. I was just like, <sighs> I just, it just, I felt bad for mm -hmm. a while. I felt, somebody get this man a first aid, emotional first aid <laughs> doctor, you know, and then this last story yeah. left me with hope. I thank you <laughs> for leaving me with hope with this last story because, first of all, it's called the mother, Mother's Love. It mm -hmm. dealt with the complex emotions. And what that's, what, that's what I like about the stories because it's, it, they are queer characters, but it's not really about queerness. It's mm -hmm. really about life, you know, and, the, you know, and this story was about the navigation of different relationships within one family, you know, him and his partner, him and his sister, him and his mother, yeah. him and his, uh, it's supposed to be his father and him, I don't know, him and his father, yeah. the mother and the father, yes. <laughs> poverty, yeah. you know, all these things into this one queer story. And at the end of the day, you know, the man shows up, I'm like, there's some joy in this case. <laughs> <laughs> and so, did, was it, but for you, was it important that hope, yeah. you know, there's a sliver of light mm -hmm. and hope in this story? Was it important to you? Yes, it was. Yeah. I, I actually wanted the man to come back. Yes. I wanted him yes. and yes. he did. I had a bottle.